God's teaching me how important it is to listen to the Holy Spirit and be someone that's uh, led by the Spirit. And in, uh, in this church, we've heard the illustration uh, a lot of times before that a, a church body, a, a true New Covenant church body is kind of like um, a person playing the piano. And uh, a person has a lot of fingers and there's a lot of keys, a lot of things to do, um, but they can play a beautiful uh, piece of music all uh, in sync as long as each finger is connected, um, not with each other, but to the head. And so um, the way I understand that is uh, if I'm part of the body, uh, I don't need to be worrying about what all the fingers need to be doing or all of the, the keys that need to be pressed, uh, all of the needs in the church. I only need to be connected to the head. I need to be connected to my father um, and listening to his spirit for exactly what he wants me to do, me alone, not what everybody else needs to be doing, or not all the needs in the church. Um, but uh, just like the fingers, each finger only needs to worry about which key it needs to press at the right time. Uh, that's all I need to do is lis be listening to God, listening to the Holy Spirit, and, um, and it will meet the need. That will be uh, what God uh, wants for me. He doesn't want each person to cater to every single need in the church. Um, for example, if there are uh, three people that come in on a Sunday and they're just absolutely crushed, something happened during the week and they need some word to lift them up, um, is it our job to try to look around and see who looks depressed or, um, and then try to meet those people and try to figure out what, uh, what we need to say to them? Um, I don't think... I don't think that would ever work. <laughs> a, a body can't function like that. But if I'm, if there are three people that need some word of encouragement or some specific word, and there are three other people in the church who are listening to God's spirit, I believe the Holy Spirit will put on those other people's hearts. Um, look at, the, uh, remember your brother, um, say this word to them, or um, uh, I'm, I've put this word on your heart. Maybe you could share it with this sister. And I believe that's how the Holy Spirit works in a New Covenant church. And so um, it could be prayer or word, words that we speak up here on Sundays. It's the question isn't um, what, what all needs to be done in, in the church. The question is what, all, what does God want me to do, a specific thing. Um, and I believe uh, if we're listening to him, then uh, all the needs can be met. So those people can be li uh, lifted up and encouraged um, and God will work in their lives if, if we're listening to the Spirit. So um, I think that, uh, in a sense, the, uh, we can be a lot more productive by doing a lot less when we're listening to the Holy Spirit. Uh, because we're not trying to think that we need to do everything anymore. And um, he, God's not looking for people that are trying to do everything and accomplish everything. He's looking for people who are submitted, who are just say, Lord, what do you want me to do? I'm willing to go out of my way. If you put a burden on my heart, I'm willing to, uh, to try to um, follow through with that. And so with regard to the, the people in the church, like if God puts one or two people on my heart I, uh, for the, the week um, or something on my heart during the, after the meeting, that uh, maybe you can go talk to this person or spend some time with this person. I think that, um, that's a lot more productive than me trying to go off a checklist. Did I talk to this person today? Did I talk to this person today? Oh, there's five new people. I, no, uh, I wonder if I need to talk to all of them. Or um, God, uh, I think if we're each listening to God, then God will um, be able to use his body to fulfill all the needs. But if we're, it's, it would be so sad if nobody's listening to the Spirit, trying to do their own thing, and then none of the needs get met because everybody thinks that they're... Uh, trying that they need to accomplish everything themselves and nobody's listening, really listening to God. Um, and uh, so I see in Jesus' life how he, he was not somebody that um, tried to do everything, but he was, he just, his goal was not to um, change the world uh, by, through his own efforts, but his goal was to do his father's will. And through that, God changed the world. And so through his submission to that. So, um, I was reminded of the example when Jesus, he, um, he, there was never a time in the Bible, I don't think, that somebody came up to Jesus and he didn't heal them. Uh, but we know that there are people um, in the Bible who uh, were healed later on. And I think in Acts, maybe uh, in one of the early chapters of Acts, there was this um, lame man that Peter healed and said he was uh, 
um, always begging by the, the gate called Beautiful and uh, the Beautiful Gate. And um, Jesus walked by there so many times before in his life, but he never healed that man. But because I believe he was listening to the Spirit, and the Spirit never said, Heal that man. Um, but uh, when Peter came along, then it was God's uh, it was God's will at that time for this lame man to be healed. And so um, Jesus was listening to the Spirit what to do, but he was also listening to the Spirit with regard to what not to do. And so I've just... Um, I just see how important it is for me to try to seek God for what burden do you want me to have in the church? What, who do you want me to reach out to? Uh, and not only that, but also to listen to his word for my life. What, what do you want me to work on right now? Uh, is there something, what in my life do you want me to be uh, actively pursuing to overcome uh, with, with all my efforts? And um, I'll just give one example. Uh, I was on the uh, phone with a, a coworker um, this week, and I, I felt like I was rushing him off, like trying to. I, I was in the middle of a project, and I felt like I was trying to rush him off. Like he was asking questions, uh, I was trying to rush him off of the phone call because uh, I I I had other stuff to do. So um, I felt conviction that God was speaking to me. You need to work on that. That's not Christ-like. Jesus didn't rush people off. Uh, he was so generous with his time, and. Um, and so I saw that uh, it was gentle, just a gentle correction to me. If you really want to be like Jesus, then um, uh, bear burdens with one another. Uh, take people's uh, other concerns and problems that other people have. Bring yourself into those and don't just rush them off so you can get back to your own stuff. And um, that was just one thing. And so um, now I've, since then I've had that in my heart that this is, something, this is a specific thing that God wants me to work on. And um, that's just one example. I, I think... Uh, um, I just want to be a person who's always listening to the Spirit. What, Lord, what do you want me to focus on in my life right now? And what do you want me to focus on in the church? Lord, I don't want to do everything right now. I just want to do what you want me to do right now. And um, I think if we can be people who are listening, God's always, God's always speaking to us uh, constantly because um, he's a loving father. I think that's, that's the reason. When I see that God's such a loving father, it would be uh, pretty ridiculous to think that such a loving father wouldn't speak to us. Like I'm constantly talking to Isaac, my four-year-old son, correcting him here and there, guiding him, do this, don't do that. You need to finish your dinner. Like you need to be healthy. Uh, all these types of, uh, all these types of things because I love him. So, so I see in the same way, because God loves us so much, he's going to be constantly speaking to us. And if I'm, if I'm not hearing from him, if it seems like he's silent, I believe the, the only reason is because either I'm too busy with something else that's my own will or I'm, uh, I don't, I'm not surrendered to his will. I'm, um, so I, uh, yeah, just, um, looking forward to being somebody who's more surrendered, listening carefully to God's, uh, gentle words here and there and following those, not thinking I need to accomplish everything, but just, uh, somebody who is led by the spirit.